Hello, my name is Colin Nelson, and I would like to share my story of baptism. I suppose my testimony may sound like many others. I was fortunate enough to be born into a family that loved the Lord. I was brought up in a church with a much smaller congregation size than River Ridge in Boone County. Once I was around 14, my family began attending Bible Center in Charleston. Following that, I went to college and I immediately began neglecting the Lord. I seldom attended church, only when I was home for the holidays or maybe the occasional weekend. I did what many college kids spent their nights doing with that first taste of freedom and was so far from Christ, I actually even wondered if He would want me back, despite knowing the love, desire, and forgiveness He has for us. It wasn't until I met my now wife Hannah late in my junior year at Marshall that I started thinking more and more. I knew I needed to come back to God, but for no good reason I chose not to. I can honestly say that without Hannah, I would not be here today. A few months before we got married, she and I attended River Ridge and felt just like at home. Our first home group with Jeremy and Erica Dalton let me connect and showed me that there are others just like me with similar stories to tell. I know I was never away from God. I was just trying to hide and justify what I've been doing. Going through next steps and getting to know Tim Minturn had a significant impact on me. He planted the seeds and never stopped caring, and I am eternally grateful for that. On October 16, 2019, I officially rededicated my life to Christ. I was in my office early one morning before anyone else had arrived and was reading the Bible. I was in a section of Matthew that Andy had recently preached on. One verse says, Truly I tell you, I do not know you. Therefore keep watch, because you know not the day nor the hour. Andy told us that we may look the part and do all the right things, but that doesn't mean we are with him. That stuck with me, and seeing it again, I knew that that was me. Well, today I'm glad to announce to everyone that I'm not just looking the part. I had to ask myself, Colin, what are you waiting for? It can't be your parents' or family's faith forever. It eventually has to be yours. What's holding me back now? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, Colin Nelson, it's been a great privilege to be a part of your faith journey. And so I've got a couple questions for you. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? I have. And do you intend to live the rest of your life as a follower of Jesus? I do. Excellent. And it's my joy and privilege today to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 